Today I'm going to show you how we clean Queen Excluders ready for the season. Hello, I'm Griffiths, so welcome to Winnie Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now we've got Andy. Hi guys. Second appearance in Gwynny Griffith's YouTube channel. Andy is the beekeeper that's joined Gwynny Griffith, and we're doing a, a quick job. This should have been done in the winter, but we didn't have time. So we're basically doing it a little bit every day before we head out. So I've got the truck loaded up. We've only got three sites to do today, and then we've finished all the cardigan bees. So we just got two layers of supers, what's that, well, 14, 14, 28, I think. And that'll be us for today, and we'll be back, well, midday. And we're hoping that there's a big delivery going to be here by then, that we can sort that out, because some of it is for me, and some of it is going up to uh, a good friend of mine uh, up in the north, well, mid Wales. We're going to take that up on Saturday, hopefully. But we're cleaning Queen Excluders this morning, and that's what this job is. So basically, Andy's kitted up in waterproofs. Got to keep dry. We put Queen Excluders on the floor, and we've got this massive hot wash pleasure washer. Super powerful, farm spec, basically. This is what people use to clean dairy parlors or tractors, machinery, all that kind of stuff. Now, I know if you're into heavy plant diggers, etc. The hot wash enables you to wash all the oil and all the silica and everything off machinery. You can heat this up. This is quite an old machine, but we had a service last year with uh, Toby Williams, where it originally came from, so she's good. We washed anything between 80 and 90 degrees. When I was when I was working in the council, we had a similar machine, and the, the guy there never go up or exceed in that range of heat. Even though the machine can actually go up to 150 degrees, things will probably tend to break if you're warming stuff up that hot. And you'll probably wreck your Queen Excluders and boxes washing at that heat anyway. So, 90 degrees, we've got a cold wash system there, we move it across for the hot wash. You can add chemical in if you want, which I don't. In there goes the diesel. You've got tubes in here, and I think there's a burner, and the heat and exhaust comes that way. Don't think this will be EULES compliant, but we're out in the countryside and uh, we don't have to worry about that really. Queen of is on the floor. You can see how clean Andy's getting them. And you found a better way cleaning than I was, Andy. Explain your uh, technique. So if you have one Queen Excluder on the floor, you lose a lot of water and a lot of heat that just dissipates off. Whereas if you actually have a stack, the water transmits down through the whole stack and the pressure and the heat. And by the time you got to the bottom, the queen excludes at the bottom are almost clean without you actually having to do anything extra. So Andy is saving time and money because I was doing this before one at a time. But Andy was had to do it on top of the stack and it turns out it's way, way better because everything is heated down and there's such pressure on the pressure washer. It works through the mesh and every queen of soda is easier as the job goes on. So, let's see this work. I'll grab some, well, I've saved some really dirty queen of soda. We will, we'll film one plastic, you can see all that beeswax, propolis, you name it, is on there. And we've got a, a steel one, you can see. Now, just to note, we're not doing this for uh, disease. So these queen excluders haven't been on a hive with disease, because if this came off something with foul brood, then washing it with this hot wash isn't adequate enough. You'd have to soak this in a, a bleach solution if you had disease. But what we're doing is we're cleaning everything out, super clean, getting all the propolis, all the beeswax off, so it's nice and clean to go back on the bees. Uh, this isn't um, disease. Uh, reduction even though I'm pretty sure if there is any kind of disease on these queen excluders the hot wash is going to wash that off but that is not an approved method if your hive has had foul brood and you're cleaning it down ready to be reused you've got to use a bleach solution for that contact the uh, NBU for more information on that we're just cleaning queen excluders that have been on hives that have had no disease that's what we're doing <laughs>
and that's it super clean and if we look now the one that was dirty underneath then the best part of the stuff is already off so the more you do the least amount of time every queen is to take so top marks andy you've made that job a lot easier and andy's only been here two and a bit weeks yeah. already saving time and money for going to griffith out there Right, but we don't just use that hot wash for Queen of Sluders. This stack is in to get washed as well. So we got brood boxes, polystyrene. It's fine to use on that. Obviously, you don't go so close with the nozzle when you're doing poly. And we wash the timber boxes with a hot wash to blow torch, paint. Everything gets a hot wash because it cleans all the dirt and everything off and it maintains your kit really well. And uh, yeah, that hot wash, we didn't pay much money for it. We paid a bit to get it repaired, but it's been an invaluable tool to the farm and the honey farm. So if anyone is on a scale where they think we need some kind of better washer to clean stuff down at the honey farm, then I can highly recommend a diesel hot wash pressure washer. That is definitely the way. And we just changed the plug on that because the plug fell and that broke with me and Andy was doing this last week on a powerful petrol one but a cold wash oh i didn't even touch it did it it not was just just a total waste of time not at all and there's a lot more vibration in the petrol washer that you don't get on the diesel as well yeah so there we go electric diesel hot wash just to say how this works so it's electric powered but the heating source is diesel so it's an electric pump for the pressure and everything but the diesel burner in there, similar to what a boiler is in a house, you've got all powered up by electric, but you've got kerosene coming through as fuel. This runs exactly the same way, but runs on diesel. And I'm pretty sure you can probably get models that does kerosene as well. Well, that's it. Little insight into how we do things on the honey farm, get stuff clean. Uh, not sterile, but pretty clean and uh, pretty sterile. But like I said, if you've got foul brew, then you need a little bit extra uh, treatment than just hot washing. Well, that's it for this video. We're gonna head back out on the bees with our clean Queen Excluders. We'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys, take care.